Hi, the ukulele dude here. Today I brought you a vintage ukulele. It's 50 or more years old and I have strung it up with vintage gut strings. Okay, so I bought, is the very first ukulele I ever got off of eBay, this instrument here. It's probably a 1950s era harmony. Uh, the design is similar to some of the ones that I've seen, but I can't exactly match the picture. If you have more information on what this might be, please share. There are absolutely no markings on this instrument anywhere. When I got it, it actually had some gut strings on it, but they were in very bad shape, dirty, and I removed them. And now I have set it up with some of the gut strings that I got from my box of goodies. So this all started when I saw an ad on Craigslist for a box of miscellaneous instrument strings. The guy I got them from said that they had been in the attic since the 1950s when his father had shut down a music store. And I'm guessing that these strings actually date from the 20s or 30s. Uh, this brand here is made in Germany. Uh, these have, the checker brand don't have any specifics as to uh, when they, or even where they were made, uh, have no idea. She doesn't have to run and hide from me. I don't need her for my strings. So these are gut strings. You can see that they're flexible. It has the color of like uncooked pasta and kind of that translucent type feel to it. And uh, some of them are dyed red. I'm sure they dyed them in other colors as well. Uh, just in the, the group that I had, we've got a couple of them that are red. find they play pretty well. They have a little bit of a roughness to the surface that is similar to what you get on, for instance, the matte finished Aquila Nile guts, which are designed to, to match up with the gut strings. So the, the feeling is that it, it tends to be a little bit noisy. I don't know if you can hear it, but as I rub my fingers up and down, they're a little bit noisier than a, a nylon string would be. And there are a few little rough spots on them occasionally. But this is what the original ukulele players back in the late 1800s and up into the 20s and 30s, this is what they would have been using on their instruments. <laughs> 